<laughs> he just had to bring Terraria in here. I haven't heard that game being mentioned here in weeks. Why well, you gotta ruin it for everyone involved? Mostly ruin it for me, Monka S. My most played game is. Oh, let's go find out. What is my most played Steam game? Let me see over here. Okay, let's see. Oh, thanks, Ready. My games. Can I sort it by how long? How many hours? Wait, I can just go to my profile. Shut up! I saw the email, man. Hell yeah, I want to try some of that. Oh, hold on. That's recently played. How do I go to my just hours of games? Recent activity. Achievements. Hey, where is the hell's the thing? How do you find it? Videos. In games? Maybe just go to games? All games. Sort by playtime. Oh, here we go. Sort by playtime. Number one. Dota 2 with 2978 hours. Pretty much, you know, 3000 hours on Dota. Next up, it's Terraria with 1000 356 hours next up is stream avatars which is it's a steam thing you have to for the little people that doesn't count my number third game with the most on steam is PUBG 814 hours dang and then the, the fourth one below it it drops from 800 hours to 293 hours and that's don't starve wow dude and then my fifth is Monster Hunter World 268 hours. So that's my top five on Steam. You know, I wish it recorded like stuff I played back in the day. Like if I showed Power Stone for the Dreamcast, I probably would have like 300 hours on it. If I did Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2 for the GameCube, which is one of my favorite games of all time, probably my second favorite game of all time, I would have probably. 2,000 hours on there as well. Maybe even more. Hey, thanks so much for the subscription, man. Appreciate it, Cheddar. Dude, how did you end up, like, uh, you know, uh, being able to host one of the uh, uh, Game Jolt events? I used to cover those games all the time. I don't know. I, you might remember it, like, back when I still first started the channel, right? Um, so I want to go for the top 10 I games for that time. <laughs> so that was Dota Terraria, Dota Terraria, PUBG, Don't Starve, Monster Hunter. Uh, five more monster marvel puzzle quest oh my god i can't believe that one is on there 242 hours now i played that one on my phone and then i played it on a pc but i was like let's play. okay just i don't talk about marvel puzzle quest it's, a, it's a freaking crap 400 hours on persona 5 damn dude that's crazy i can't wait till i play that and play that one day i have it i bought it for like a cheap, good deal, but I was like, okay, I'll play it now. And I'll play it soon. Okay, so that was my number six. Number seven is Slay the Spire, 233 hours. Oof. Next up, Binding of Isaac, number eight, with 218 hours. Coming in on number nine, it's Ark Survival Evolved, 212 hours. And then my number 10 played most Steam game, Starbound, 112 hours. Eh, I might as well go down a little bit more. So, number 11 is Dark Souls 3, 87 hours. Number 12, Fallout 4, 75 hours. 13, Rimworld, 65 hours. Wow, and this is a game I haven't played in forever. Number 14, Torchlight 2, which is a Diablo-like clone. It's actually going to be on the Switch coming out soon. Torchlight 2. I'm going to pick it up again because that game is fun. 62 hours. And then number 15, Realm Royale, 54 hours. Jesus Christ. Dang. And uh, Seven Days to Die, 52 hours. And then for the last two I'm going to mention, They Are Billions, which is a recently new game, 48 hours. And the most recent new game on here is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, 47 hours. Dang, dude. Woo! A lot of good games. 